So here we have Code Light all set up. It's working, it's building. I just want to run through a few things that we should check before we really get going and programming uh, all the time. So first things first, we have our workspace here. I've set it up with a workspace called test. You can of course call your workspace anything. I suggest for what we're doing, you have all of your projects within the same workspace. So this is the workspace here, and then you have a project, a project, a project, all the way down. Now, there is something called the active project, which is the one that it will actually build. To change the active project, you need to double click on it. I'm gonna create a new project just so that we can see this in action, G++, and I'm going to call this project two, like this. Now, you can see that test 27 is in bold, which means it's the active project. So even if we load up the C++ file for project two, it's still got this as the active project. So when it's building, I'm gonna press the F7 key to build. You can see it's still building test 27. You can see just here, it's still building test 27. If I want to build project two, I need to double click and make project two the active project. Okay, so the second thing I need to do is I need to check a setting on here. If I go to workspace settings, and I want to say enable the C++ 11 standard. So C++ has come out in various versions and every few years they release a new version. We are using C++ 11, although 14 won't harm at all. Uh, to make sure that it's compatible. So when we use REPL.IT, we've got all of the same commands available because that's on C++11. If you don't tick enable C++11 like this, it will default, I believe, to C++98, which doesn't contain all of the functions that we use. So that's the first thing, and we have to do that once and once only on the workspace. The second thing, if I shift back to test 27, is I need to go to the settings in here, and under compiler, I need to make sure, if I drag this down, uh, where we have compiler options, if I click dot 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 on here, we are going to show that it must have C++11. There's a couple of other useful things on here you can see it says enable all compiler warnings that's definitely what we want let's uh, go for also uh, treat errors uh, treat as errors the warnings uh, demanded by ISO C and ISO C++ so this means that instead of it giving you warnings it will say it's an error and it will force you to fix it before we carry on this can help with a few problems so then our command line that gets passed to the compiler is minus pedantic errors minus g minus o0 that's to do the optimization and the c++ 11 standard and enable all warnings okay and okay so now I can build and it's absolutely fine to build. When we're running our program, there's a couple of things in this new version of Code Light. So this thin strip here between the number and our, sorry, I'll go back to the other C++ file there, between the number and our program, this is where you enable your breakpoints. So if you want to use the debugger, and you want to stop the program somewhere in the middle, I'll do another video on that, then you need to click here just in between. You can also, on any line of code, you can right click and you can say toggle breakpoint and it will do exactly the same thing. So we'll explore a bit more about this in future videos, but I hope that's been useful, making sure that we've got our setup right so that it's going to compile all of the programs which we are using. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.